My name is uh, Rinong Nguyen. I'm with uh, Grace. Uh, we're located in Columbia, Maryland. And I'm the media technology manager uh, with the uh, company. Grace, uh, being the largest silica gel manufacturer in the world, is uh, basically focused on developing new technologies for purification of protein therapeutics. So uh, traditionally, it's been very costly for companies to purify monoclonal antibodies uh, using traditional approaches. Uh, such as uh, resins that they have to go through and pack in stainless steel hardware. So uh, Grace developed a new silica gel with 1200 angstrom pore diameter, 70 micron, micron particle size that gives highly efficient, high yield uh, for monoclonal antibodies. And we've worked with Replogen to have a single use or what we like to call single campaign uh, platform uh, where we incorporate the Opus style hardware with our resin uh, to give very good binding capacity compared to the leading agros type materials. Uh, we've actually worked for uh, quite a while with some collaborative biopharmaceutical companies uh, where we supplied the resin and pre-packed materials for them to evaluate using their own monoclonal antibodies at different titer concentrations uh, where we evaluate dynamic binding capacity the yield and the selectivity based on high molecular weight and low molecular weight species. We were expecting to get better yield than the competitive materials, but actually we observed uh, significantly higher um, yield than what even the customers were expecting. Uh, we actually were able to get 4,500 plates per meter efficiency, uh, whereas the agro, leading agrose material was only 1,200 plates per meter. Um, and uh, actually our customers informed us that they were very surprised at the high yield over higher linear velocities and the linear relationship with increasing back pressure. So uh, that indicates that the competitive materials, especially the agros, was exhibiting uh, compression effects under the higher pressure. So uh, we can see that across different tighter concentrations as well, the high binding capacity. So. Well, this is our uh, official launch opportunity for this product. Uh, we've been working on it for quite a few years, uh, although we've had the technology for the control pore diameter and particle sizing. Uh, but we're very excited to uh, introduce this to the marketplace and we hope to change the paradigm with which uh, monoclonal antibodies can be purified from clinical phase studies to uh, uh, final downstream processing. We chose to uh, present this new technology during the BDP week. Uh, because it's, uh, we're very excited to officially launch the product for the very first time, although we've been working with the technology and with our uh, beta customers for well over a year. So this is uh, something that we're hoping to change the paradigm with which monoclonal antibodies are purified from early clinical phase studies to uh, final purification.